You never need to be surprised as to where you will find Gary Player as the most travelled sportsman on the planet. You've heard that before, and I promise you you'll be hearing it again. But here, in the parade ring at Royal Ascot, moments after Her Majesty the Queen has just recorded the most spectacular victory with a filly called Estimate, trained by Sir Michael Stout and ridden by Ryan Moore, it is our great honour to have Gary Player give us your sentiments about this absolutely magnificent experience. We were all sitting there and enjoying our lunch and we had a little bet on estimate and when we saw the horse win we all got up from the table just to see Her Majesty receive the honours here and honestly she's such a wonderful lady and has such charm and I remember at King Edward School in 1946 the King and Queen visited South Africa with the two daughters and we all went out from King Edward School, took our hats off and waved and they waved back and to see her now here win the Gold Cup and what's so exciting for me is to see this horse Yates, this great statue of Yates and Lady Laidlaw has a daughter of Yates on my farm at the moment so now to see this bronze is really terrific. But Andrew, um, you know, I've seen racing from the English Derby to the Kentucky Derby to Hong Kong. Everywhere in the world I've been to their races. Melbourne Cup, I've never seen anything like Royal Ascot. This beats them all. This is a special experience and has an ambience that you can never explain to people. And to be part of the horse industry is a great excitement. And Mrs. Rupert Gaynor Rupert is coming on Saturday. I'm going to be joining her. So um, this is a special week for me. Gary, I'm sure there's so many occasions that you've walked down the 18th fairway knowing that victory was in your grasp or maybe very, very close and you heard this tumultuous applause, but is there anything quite like what you heard today when Estimate hit the front? Well, with 30,000 people here, everybody was throwing their hats off. And, you know, this hat costs 150 pounds and I'm taking it home. I'm going to squash it and make it into a Scottish hat. I'm not letting it go. But no, everybody was ecstatic. And, and, and she's been such a supporter of horse racing. And so everybody was absolutely thrilled. Well, I have to say that it's probably akin to Nelson Mandela leading in the winner in the winner's enclosure. That's the only thing we could possibly relate to. Absolutely. And uh, at this time of his life, we're all thinking of him. Uh, he's our hero. And we wish he and his family everything of the best. And I suppose Prince Philip deserves exactly the same kind of well wishing. Absolutely. Uh, I don't know how keen he is on the horses, but um, he's hanging in there. And uh, look, there comes a time everything shall pass. And it doesn't matter who we are. And we've got to learn to live with that. And that's not an easy thing, particularly I'm 78 and I've been to think about it. <laughs> but the motto is enjoy every day, have love in your heart and be happy. Gary, we are truly honoured to have had this time with you. We hope that we see you on Saturday, that you enjoy every moment of this because it is special from small to old and young and big, whatever the case may be, it is a really incredible experience to have seen Her Majesty win the, uh, the Gold Cup as Yates would have done four times in a row. Four times in a row. And you know what I love about this place? It's like Mirfield Golf Club. When you have lunch inside that club, you've got to wear a tie. And here you come along and you've got to be properly dressed. And everybody is cleanly shaven. And I mean, we're going through a stage now where people don't worry about those old traditions. And I think those old traditions weren't too bad on many occasions. And so, many instances, I should say. And so to come here, it has a special ambience. And for anybody who's never been here, if you can ever afford it, come and see it. Well, I have to say that uh, Gary Player wearing a pink tie with a pinch ba pink badge, his father probably would have turned in his grave, but it's a sign of the times, and this is Royal Ascot. <laughs> Remember, Larry, changes the price of survival. survival. <laughs>